we see 33 out of 33 Raptor engines lit on Super Heavy as it starts to ascend skyward. When Elon Musk stood before a stunned crowd during a SpaceX press conference in early 2025, revealing that the moon is not what we think, the air in the room shifted from one of excitement to stunned disbelief. This was no ordinary announcement about another rocket launch or a Mars mission update. This was a seismic shift in our understanding of the celestial body that has guided human culture, mythology, science, and exploration for thousands of years. Musk, always known for dramatic reveals, had outdone himself. What he shared wasn't just a twist in space exploration, it was a direct challenge to some of the oldest assumptions humanity has held about the moon. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The lead up to this revelation had been carefully orchestrated, with vague hints dropped across social media, cryptic comments and in interviews, and unusual silences from typically talkative SpaceX insiders. Musk had been unusually reclusive in the months leading up to the event, Instead of sharing constant updates about the Artemis collaboration or Starship testing, he had been directing private lunar missions under the codename Project Echo. Few outside the inner circle knew the details, but satellite data and public domain launch manifests hinted at multiple unannounced SpaceX trips to the moon. Most assumed they were scouting for water ice deposits or testing long-duration equipment for Mars. But it turned out those missions were following up on anomalies detected by SpaceX's proprietary lunar mapping system. Advanced sensors had picked up inconsistencies in the moon's subsurface density and magnetic field behavior, anomalies previously written off as instrumentation errors or geological quirks. But with SpaceX's AI-driven diagnostics flagging these as statistically improbable, Musk decided to launch a classified mission to investigate directly. The crewed lander touched down near the far side of the moon in a region known for its geological complexity. What the astronauts found there would turn into one of the most extraordinary discoveries in the history of human civilization. Beneath the ancient regolith and impact-scarred surface, they discovered structural formations, angular, regular, and clearly non-natural. They weren't rock formations or lava tubes. These were symmetrical corridors, chambers, and artifacts, all buried deep within the lunar crust. It was not a cave system, it was an installation. The announcement by Musk didn't focus on extraterrestrial life or alien technology directly. He was careful, deliberate even, in his choice of words. But the implications were unmistakable. The moon, long believed to be a natural satellite formed from the debris of a colossal impact with Earth billions of years ago, now appeared to be something else entirely. Not only had artificial structures been detected and confirmed, but their composition, layout, and preserved energy patterns hinted at a level of engineering humanity had never encountered. One of the key points Musk emphasized was the presence of non-random isotopic distributions in lunar material taken from the site. Isotopes that do not occur naturally on Earth or the Moon had been embedded in specific configurations, perhaps as a means of signaling, storage, or structural integrity. These were not accidents of nature, they were designed. And the design was beyond anything even the most optimistic theoretical physicists had ever envisioned. To many, the moon had always been a silent partner in Earth's history, affecting tides, stabilizing the planet's axial tilt, and serving as a constant presence in the night sky. Now it might be more akin to a sentinel, or worse, or perhaps more inspiring, a kind of watchtower. Musk didn't explicitly say who might have built the structures or why, but he did confirm that radiometric dating placed some components at over 3 billion years old. That timeline alone shattered conventional narratives about intelligent life in the universe. If someone was engineering the moon when Earth itself was still a primordial swamp, the implications were staggering. This revelation rippled through every field. In physics, questions exploded about the moon's mass distribution and whether it had been artificially stabilized. Some scientists immediately revisited long-standing lunar puzzles, like the way it rings like a bell when struck by seismic waves, data previously dismissed or misunderstood. Now, in the context of internal structure, those phenomena took on new significance. Theories about hollow chambers and megastructures no longer belong solely in science fiction. Astronomy departments around the world scrambled to reinterpret past lunar missions. The Apollo mission records were combed for overlooked clues, even old Soviet lunar probe data, dusty in archives for decades, 
was hauled back into relevance. Meanwhile, anthropologists and historians looked at ancient mythologies and oral traditions with renewed interest. Stories of gods descending from the moon or lunar deities began to look like distant echoes of something far more real than symbolic. The geopolitical consequences began to simmer in the background, though Musk carefully skirted those in his announcement. The moon had suddenly transformed from a celestial body to a site of incalculable technological and possibly historical value. Questions of sovereignty, access and control began to bubble quietly among national governments. But what Musk emphasized most was the need for transparency, exploration, and an international framework to approach this discovery, not with conquest in mind, but with curiosity, humility, and scientific unity. Technologically, the implications were just as transformative. Musk revealed that early analysis of the material recovered from the moon's substructure showed superconductive properties at room temperature and exotic quantum behaviors not replicable on Earth. These materials could revolutionize not only space travel, but terrestrial energy, computation, and material science. Already, SpaceX had diverted resources toward reverse engineering and simulation. The research facilities in Texas and Boca Chica had begun incorporating findings into Starship design upgrades and even Earth-based applications, though Musk was quick to temper expectations with the massive complexity of the material. A particularly jarring detail Musk mentioned was the presence of a containment system, a form of energetic locking mechanism that had kept the structure hidden and sealed for eons. Whatever had placed these installations there wanted them to remain concealed until a specific condition had been met. Whether it was a time frame, a vibration frequency, or the result of lunar environmental changes, no one knew. But the opening mechanism had activated within the past 18 months. That, more than anything else, is what had triggered Musk's urgency. The silence around this timing spoke volumes. It suggested either an automated intelligence with a long delay mechanism or a responsive system tied to human activity, perhaps even the increased lunar landings in recent years. If the installation responded to presence or specific electromagnetic signatures, it meant that the moon had been watching, waiting, and possibly listening. Musk's presentation included high-definition scans of the structure, vast hexagonal corridors, angled doorways, and a series of glyphs etched into the alloy-like walls. The glyphs did not match any known linguistic systems, but showed a mathematical regularity that linguists and AI systems were already working to decode. The architectural layout was strangely ergonomic, though for no physiology that matched human dimensions exactly. The corridors were taller and narrower, and gravity within them had measurable distortions, suggesting gravitational manipulation either active or residual. The discovery was not just physical, it had philosophical weight. Musk touched on this uncharacteristically reflective. He asked whether humanity was ready to confront the idea that we are not the first, not the only, and possibly not the most advanced. The moon, once viewed as the stepping stone to Mars and beyond, had suddenly become a message in a bottle, a cosmic artifact, a relic of intelligence so ancient that even calling it alien might miss the point. This wasn't just an event, it was a reframing. It forced a rethinking of priorities, not only for SpaceX, but for all of spacefaring civilization. Mars was still on the roadmap, but the moon had become something much more than a waypoint. It had become a puzzle, a library, perhaps even a monument. And whatever lay beneath the regolith, it wasn't passive. Whether it had once been inhabited or was still monitored in some way remained a topic Musk did not clarify, but he left the door open. What if the moon wasn't simply modified? What if it was brought here? That possibility, long ridiculed in fringe theories, was suddenly not so easy to dismiss. This monumental turn has already begun transforming education. Universities are pivoting to lunar studies. Quantum physicists are re-evaluating assumptions about gravity, energy, and material science. A new generation of students, previously drawn to AI or climate science, are flooding into astrophysics, eager to be part of the unfolding story. Telescopes across the globe and orbit are being reprogrammed to search not just for life, but for architecture. The moon, once silent and still, has become a beacon. It challenges everything. It invites inquiry, awe, and for some, fear. For Elon Musk, it appears to be a validation of something he has long hinted at, that space is not just empty, that in the void, there are traces of intention. 
Traces that now, finally, humanity is technologically mature enough to uncover. What comes next remains unknown. But the revelation that the moon is not what we thought marks a boundary line in history. Before this, space was about reaching new frontiers. Now, it is about understanding what was already here, hidden in plain sight, orbiting us for eons, a silent companion that might just be the key to everything humanity is still becoming. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Elon saying the moon isn't what we think? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.